Hey guys, welcome back, and we're back, surprisingly, on this channel doing a bit of a building uh, vlog. Not a network vlog which has been taken over the past couple of posts, so I do apologise, but it's all part of what we're going through with this five-bedroom house build, where on this particular vlog, we're talking about window sills and fitting them. So, in our context, it was a bit different from normal. Um, normally, I would have fitted the window sills before I started boarding the sides, and things and plasterboarded just so I can get a really good tight fit to make it easier. The way the build just went on meant that I had to do custom builds of these and I just didn't want to spend the time doing that when we were rushing so mad with other things that were happening in the build. So I sacked it off to one side, knowing that every single one of these I had to build myself. And that's what we've done and this is what we're gonna to touch on on this particular video. So normally when I'm doing a project like this, I'm simply just going and buying some window sills that you get from Wix's, anything like that, pre-primed MDF boards. I put on screen those particular things I would purchase. I couldn't do this on this prop project um, because this part was built in 1930s, the first bit over there, which I put a screen of the, the size of the window sill was based in, built in 1823. And big difference in size. And with what we've done with this side of the house, we've because it's got cavity insulation that we've topped up, we've also studded out, like on the other part of the building, an additional stud wall with insulation in it. So when we've studded the old part of the house, that one would have survived an MDF board purchased from Wix's. However, these ones aren't. They're just too big. They're, they're just too deep, so you can't get them and things like that. So that meant that we had to create our own window sills, which... It was fairly easy in terms of if you've got the, the tools around the house. Uh, we bought some standard MDF board, 80 mil moisture resistant board. We ripped it down to the, the width that we needed. We then simply routed out the edge to make it nice and curved. So we got a nice bull nose type of effect. Again, we did the corners as well because Steph wanted the windowsill to come out to so then go round a little bit. And we then ripped around that and everything like make it really, really fit well. So I'm just going to touch on this video on how I went about it, show you how what I did. And yeah, we're really pleased with the outcome. So not bad. Hope this helps you and it shows you that you can do these type of um, bespoke woodwork if you can't really buy them off the shelf and things. So yeah, hope you like it and I'll catch you in the next one shortly. Peace. See that door open if she just wants to come around, she can just come around. Anyway. Right then, let's... We just rip it in half to start with. Uh, get the hoover around here. Oh God, that's me fat ass. Void. Well, I should have not void, I should have moved the wash basket. <laughs> 